Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to go about using watercolor to paint your color wheel. Um, the materials I have are the watercolor set, uh, I have my brush, and this is the brush that is separate from your kit. I find it personally easier to work with, it's a little bit larger than the one that's come with your kit. Um, I also have my worksheet. I have a piece of paper just to test out colors and their intensity. I also have available uh, some paper towel to wipe off water from the brush and also a water container um, just used specifically for my art projects. Um, please keep, keep in mind the paper is very thin. It doesn't take a lot of water the way watercolor can take water. So we have to be really um, aware of how wet the brush is and also the paint. So starting off with uh, yellow at the top. Okay, and we said that in the previous video we're only using three colors, red, yellow, and blue. So what I've done is I've blocked off the other colors so I am not tempted to use them. So you're going to um, you know, work with the color. You have to really get some water in there and then make sure it applies um, intensely into the space provided. You're trying to learn how to work with the paint neatly. So you are going to fill in the whole box. All right. So I'm going to work in between yellow and blue. As you're doing this, please look at the example that's been posted for you. You can have that up on your computer screen so you can sort of try to match those colors. We should see differences going around the color wheel. So from yellow, uh, yellow gets darker, turning to yellow green, green, blue, green, and then to pure blue. So I can also get that pure blue down if I'd like, just to understand where I'm working. And if I feel I have too much water on my brush, sorry, I'm just gonna position this palette here. I can use the palette to kind of intensify the color and mix it. So here I am going into the blue section. And again, not too much water, okay, um, but not, so little that everything's going gooey in, in the container. So you're trying to, to sort of work within the space as best as you can. You are going to fill in the whole space um, so that you are practicing being as neat as you can. All right. So essentially, uh, when you're working with paint and thinking about this color wheel, uh, you should really be mixing the light color, ample amount, the yellow in this case, and slowly adding a bit of blue to get the other colors. But you may be, you know, doing it a bit out of order just to ensure you, you get the color correct. Very important, please note, do not try to mix on the paper. The color needs to be, be pre-mixed in the palette and then apply to the paper. So you need to make sure you make enough of that color all right, so I'm getting a bit of the blue and adding it to the yellow to get the next color. And I may feel I don't quite have enough, so I'm going back into yellow, mixing some more, getting a little bit more of that blue to get yellow green. Okay, so I'm adding that to the yellow green. Um, I'm finding it's not going down as intensely as I like, so I went back, got some more paint. And I'm going to fill in that whole box, but you can already see the color has changed. So the next color is green, which is a secondary color. A mixture of blue and yellow gives you green. And then green plus yellow gives you yellow green. Green plus blue gives you blue green. Anyways, you can see that we're supposed to go around the wheel and become darker. So again, I'm adding more blue. I'm looking at the example provided. Uh, as a file to achieve that color. Okay. And 
and I'm filling in the box. Again, you can work on intensifying the color. I'm trying to keep this demonstration pretty short. Um, again, I could actually probably use this color, maybe with a bit more blue, to get the blue-green. Oh, sorry. Okay. I can use some of this. There we go. I think that's enough. Okay, and I should see that color changing. If not, I'm adding more blue, but it shouldn't be as dark as the actual blue. Okay, if you're finding um, you didn't catch the color and your paper is has too much water, just wait for that part to dry and you can go back to it. But again, the key point is you're mixing in the palette, not on the paper. Okay, because you'll end up with holes in your paper.